Search and rescue teams with dogs and heavy equipment sifted through the charred remains of Lahaina over the weekend as the search for victims continued in the aftermath of wildfires that devastated Maui. Task Force leader Todd Maglioka said teams were searching every address for human remains. Big search area, uh, devastating fire. I uh, have not seen anything like this in my entire 30 years in the fire service. Um, and been to some pretty significant incidents in the intensity, the population density, um, all those things combined uh, have got us where we are today. Hawaii Governor Josh Green said on Friday that the death toll was still expected to rise. There are now 470 search and rescue workers and 40 search dogs combing through the hundreds of burned buildings. And they've already completed searching more than 60% of the disaster area. The number of lives we have lost has climbed to over 100, and we expect it to increase each day as we continue our search. Green said the fast-moving Maui fire, fueled by wind gusts of up to 80 miles per hour, destroyed more than 2,200 buildings and damaged roughly 500 more at an estimated cost of nearly $6 billion. Meanwhile, the resort town's iconic banyan tree has been undergoing life-saving treatment since the fire. Arborist Stephen Nims is leading the effort. We checked underneath the bark of all, of all the lower trunks on the tree, and we found that there's still live tissue. We didn't see any major charring or scarring of the tree. It's kind of going into a holding stage. So that's what I feel the tree's doing right now. And what we're doing is just like someone in a coma, they give them an intravenous shot. Same way with the tree. We're giving it the intravenous shot with the aeration and the, and the treatments that we're doing right now. Nim said that while the historic tree is important to the community, he emphasized that there are bigger priorities in Maui's recovery efforts. It's a tree. We've got so many people that have lost their lives, lost their families, lost their livelihoods, and lost everything else here that I, I'm i just saying is, is that that's where the focus should be, and we take care of that. There's greater disasters out there than this tree.